One fairly common problem you run into with VR footage, um, especially if you're compiling footage from different cameras or different sources, is um, you might uh, look around the middle and everything looks good, but then if you look at your feet or your head, you find a hole. Um, and uh, that hole may even take up not just the top, but also the, the whole back of the footage. Um, this is because uh, it becomes much clearer if you, if you jump out to equirectangular, you see what's going on. Um, these holes are just uh, the spherical way of seeing letterboxing. Um, so this is a panoramic photo uh, that I downloaded from Wikimedia Commons. It's not actually VR in the sense that it doesn't wrap at the top and bottom, it's, it's wraps only on the side. Um, and, uh, and so what that means um, is we have, um, we have a problem. <laughs> we have an aspect ratio problem. Um, this footage is too small in both directions. So it's letter boxed and pillar boxed and that's why it got um, this look. So, you know, letter boxed leads to a hole in the North and South Pole. Letterboxed and pillar boxed leads to a hole with a back missing. And then um, the other thing that you might run into is this looks okay, but actually it's, uh, it's too big. Um, this is like 8K footage instead of 5.7K, which is what my sequence is. And so what happens there, it's a little more subtle, but you see like a pinch at the north and south pole, and then there's a seam running down the back. Um, so that's what it looks like in headset when footage is too big. Um, rather than too small. Um, we can fix too big and too small pretty easily so long as the aspect ratio matches. Um, it's simple enough to right click on the footage in Premiere and choose scale to frame size. Um, now when it's too big uh, there's no real loss in quality by going down a little bit. Um, that is to say we're not blowing anything up. Um, when it's too small, we have actually here, I've blown up 4K to 5.7K, which is going to be a little fuzzier, you know. Um, but if you needed to make one compilation all at, all at one resolution, you know, maybe that's something that would be, um, you, it would be a sacrifice worth making. Or you would otherwise choose to, like, make the whole sequence a lower resolution and then, and then lower things that are too big. Um, in this scenario, um, there is a way to solve this, but it's a little unfortunate because it means you're going to stretch the aspect ratio a little bit. Um, but if you were really just absolutely had to get this to meet up at the top with no black hole, uh, I would suggest the VR projection effect. You can throw it on there and choose um, stretch to fill frame. And um, then we will see in this case, it kind of pinches because, again, the panorama was never really meant to wrap at the top or bottom. But um, as you can see, you know, the human figures looked a little a little stretched vertically. So this is less than ideal. But um, if if you had something that was maybe an animation or, um, you know, uh, abstract imagery or something and you just needed to get it to meet at the top and bottom, you could do that with VR projection.